All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to our live. Where is Mr. Ken? Where is he? Hello. Where are you? Welcome, everybody, to our live show. There he is. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Do you have any Ray Dunn? I, I don't personally know. Goodbye. Okay, he's off to go find some more Ray Dunn because I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Greetings. everybody? So we are so excited. Um, we are our good friends at Thermal Web sent us an amazing box of a whole bunch of stuff, no. and they always go above and beyond. And in the box, they have their entire fall release, which usually their releases revolve around Gina K. We mm -hmm. love Gina K. We love her stuff. Yep. But this box actually has one of their new spotlight designers, which is Brutus Monroe. For those of you who don't know, Brutus Monroe was started by a friend of mine, Christopher Allen. Hello, Christopher. We see him in the room. There he yes. is. Hello. And he now has some very unique uh, products in the Thermal Web catalog. So mm -hmm. normally what we do is we do a project around the release. Today we are just going to play with all of the product and show you what it looks like. Um, so first of all, before we get going, welcome to our live video. This is a live video, so you can chat along with us. Make sure that your questions are in all caps, so that way we can see the question and answer it. If you're watching this after we're live, you can still follow along with the live chat that did happen. Should be off to the right of you. Yeah, to the right. Also, everything we are talking about is down below in the link. All the links will take you to Thermal Web's website where all of this product can be found. Using the links does support this channel. So make sure to use those links and thank you for using those links. We thank do you. get a small commission from uh, Thermal Web and yes, we really appreciate that. They are great partners and we're very excited to be with them. Um, so they actually had a whole bunch of stuff released. If you don't know what Thermal Web is, Thermal Web has a whole variety of different divisions in their company. They have a lot of fabric interfacing, so heat and bond, things to stab stabilize fabric, mm -hmm. but they have an entire craft section. And part of that craft section, of course, houses the Gina K designs, yes. Brutus Monroe, yep. Deco Foil, some of our favorite stuff. Oh, most favorite. Most, most favorite. Most favorite stuff. It's wonderful. Our wonderful. So we will go ahead. Most of you probably know Gina K stuff. We've done a ton of different reviews on unboxings and stuff like that. Um, but there is some other exciting stuff. And we'll bring in some stuff from uh, previous releases so mm -hmm. we can play with all these foils and show you what they do. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, we will start with the Gina K stuff. Now this, uh, everything Gina K has released has been... Um, She's introduced this year her stamp and foil to go along with all of her foil mates. So the way her system works uh, is very unique. You have everything that revolves around foils. These are the foil mates. So think anywhere you see black is where foil will stick. Anything you see white mm -hmm. will just be, of course, white. That is true. Um, so her whole idea is she has cardstock. You build it with these foil mates as your backgrounds. Then on the top, you can actually use the new stamp and um, foil. So this process, I'll show you a card we quickly made earlier today. We actually stamped this on the card and then foiled it. Here's another design here that was stamped and foiled. So mm -hmm. That one actually was just foiled. This was stamped in her ink and... Voila. There you go. It's nice this is a new background she has in her foil mates. This is right there. I just love this stuff. That's so that's stuff. the system. So the two new big releases she had. This one is called, and I'm missing the dies for this one. I need to go over there and grab them. Um, this one is called Thankful Leaves. Thankful Leaves. And I don't know my for that. Uh-oh. Dies, just like our pen. <laughs> hmm. I'll have to be on the lookout for it. I don't know what I did. Um, oh, here they are. <laughs> <Right there. laughs> All right. So this one comes with foil mates. So you have two different foil mates. You have full leaves. And then you have the, I don't know what those are called, the little Where? actual veins of the leaf yeah, coming through. Yeah, veins. So you would actually stamp directly onto this. This is formatted to fit into your cuddle bug, big shot, any kind of machine like that. So you have the stamps that go on top of that. And then you can cut with the metal dies. Is that what I'm seeing here, the veins yep. here? Boy, see if you can really get, see a close-up of that. 
Look at the. Those so are, that's her stamp and foil system. So we stamp that stamp, on. Oh, there you go. Look yeah. How, look how that shines right there. It's a great system. Isn't that and awesome? she's released so much. Um, <laughs> so these are the thankful leaves. Once again, you have your crafty dies that go around it, the stamps, the clear stamps, and then the foil mates. Nice. Now, the other release she did was the graphic sunflowers. So this here um, is what we use with their designer on the front of the card or front of the, our thumbnail. So think of kind of like sunflowers burst. You have all these bursts here. You have the dies to go around it. You have the stamps. And then you can use it in conjunction with her foil mates. And these are great backgrounds of the card. You have beautiful flourish, which comes with these two amazing designs. And we'll play with those later in uh, one sec. These are the amazing one. These are harvest texture. So you have both this crisscross pattern and then this, um, I always think of uh, those dishes when I was a kid growing up, Pyrex dishes. Pyrex, That's what yeah. that reminds me of and stuff. So super cool designs. That's what we used for making this quick card. So we're gonna play with her stuff here in just one sec, but let's also grab out Brutus Monroe. So I'm really excited about the Brutus Monroe because here's the deal, guys. I'm a guy, I know, right? Shocker. And we don't have a lot of guy options on uh, the market. And Brutus Monroe stuff is extremely uh, unique and to me has obviously a little bit of a masculine flair to it. Now, the couple of different mm. things on this is number one, the foils are, I've never seen foils like this. So you have Tide Pool. Now that reminds me, for those who work on cars or stuff, you'll see gasoline or oil on top yes. of water. You mm -hmm. get that effect. That is absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to be playing with all of these, everyone's stuff. Gorgeous. This is Sunrise, and it's got this nice... Kind of a golden yeah, red. Yeah, so you got gold. I would say, yeah, like a, that. And then this is Dry Breast. So you got nice the golds too. and blacks. Now, what's unique... I have to say on his designer sheets, we've played with, of course, deco foils, toner sheets, and you have them right here. But in here, you actually get two clear and two white. So you have the clear, and then if you turn it over, you have the white. So this is really good if you kind of like Gina's system where she has the backgrounds in the white and, and foil, you could do that, or you could go with the clear option. Clear option is a lot of fun because you can, and we're going to do that today, you can overlay these and make beautiful backgrounds of your cards. So this one here is called Loopy. I'm a little loopy. <laughs> this is Brush Strokes. And this is very unique of his style. If you actually go to the Brutus Monroe website, you'll find a lot of uh, background stamps like this, a lot of pattern stamps like this. It's like a Dalmatian. Yes, that's, oh, I'm sorry, that's called Stressed. I'd call it Dalmatian. This is <laughs> this one's Distress Circles. I love this one. This one is oh, Marble. Uh, or a pour. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like it kind of does look like the pours, doesn't it? Mm. And then this one here is called Coffee Rings. Good old Coffee Rings. Yes. So I love these. We are definitely going to be playing with these in just a minute. But I did want to share that you guys all know I love hey, the designer toner sheets. These are so fun. We've made some beautiful cards with this. I wonder if I still have one. Um, uh, we made like almost kind of, let me see if I have it real quick. I think I've already given it away, but we did a really fun one with hot pink and it had some almost cow textures to it. But these ones are obviously made for Halloween. So you have this one, which is Cobwebs and Cauldrons, Pumpkin Patch, Endless Leaves, Endless Leaves, Wilderness, and Wheat Fields. So, normally we would then break into making a card, but I really just kind of want to play with all of these fun foils. So I have the Royal Sovereign Laminator. This was given to me by Thermoweb, and I have to say, it's um, nice. <laughs> it's pretty nice compared to what I've been using. Oh yes. Um. So we're gonna start with a couple of these. Let's pick. Um. Let's do this one first. Okay. So this one here is the coffee rings. So. Once again, in all of Brutus Monroe ones, you are going to have, which I think is brilliant because I love the look here. You can see this is the, the clear, but I do also like the fact that if I want to make a card with white, I have that option too. So I don't have to back it with a white sheet. Um, 
Inside of the Brutus Monroe package, you will also have this. And what's this used for, Sean? That is our carrier. Our carrier. We are going to play with, of course, his foils. We're going to play with Gina Kay's. We are going to play with so many foils, you guys aren't going to even see straight. I can't. I just can't see it. So let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to let Sean pick hey, out. Oh, sorry. You have the pumpkin patch somewhere? So I want to see that real quick again. Pumpkin patch is in this release. Oh, there. Okay. So this is part of the deck of foil release. Pick a foil, pick a foil, pick a foil. La 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 la. There you be. <laughs> I need, Christopher goes, I need to get my hands on those Halloween ones if I only had a contact. <laughs> You're too funny. All right, so let's play. So this one is the marble, and I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it in half and give it to Sean once he's done. So this way That's we right. can really play with all that. Nope, I'm giving you yep. that. There you go. And then let's put this one back in. That one's going to be on white, just so we can play around with some of his colors. Let's put that back so I can create something later with that. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you. So I'm going to start with this one. This is Sean's favorite when it came out. So his packages have, just so you know, this Tide Pool has 10 pieces. Now you can use this with a laminator. You can use it with adhesive. So think foam adhesive. You can use it with uh, their gel, which is amazing. We'll show you that in a little bit. Um, these are very, very thin. So you will think you have grabbed just one and you probably have three, <laughs> three. So I will always tell people, be careful taking these out. Also be careful. Like I always do, it gets attached to this. And sometimes might ruin it. They but really do need to come up with a new way. I think you zip, say I, I say Ziploc would be great. Every video shot. It's so cute. It's just Ziploc. How much more could it be to do Ziploc? Well, I don't know. Maybe a lot. So there is that foil. Now this is the tie. Oh wait, no, what is this one called? I have to look again. I'm so worried about this tide pool. I was right. Tide pool? You have oil in my head now, so I think it's like oil. I just need that to get. Shake it. I. What do you mean shake it? Well, that does nothing. Well, I thought maybe it would help. Sean, I can't with you. I know. All right, we're gonna do this one on this. And I know you guys are going to kill me because I am just not going to cut this down because, well, I'm going to have to. You're going to have to because it's too my... long. Tis long. Oh, tis too long. Tis too long. All right. Are we ready? This is Gorge. So I want to do this one on white. We're going to put this through the carrier sheet. And I am doing a, a pretty big one here so you guys can see the amazingness of that. Mm -hmm. Somebody said just cut that damn thing off. Oh, that's a good idea. It's not going anywhere. Well, we're just gonna have to use that, aren't we? Mm -hmm. There it is on the other end. Woo! So excited. This is such a unique foil. I've never seen a foil that looks like yeah. this. You guys are gonna have to tell me which one is your favorite. I didn't make sure this was ready before I was... Oh, it's still going through. I'm, I'm, too, I'm getting too antsy. Too antsy, Sean. Antsy Nancy? Yep. Oops. Oh, that's why it wasn't going through right. I'm supposed to do it in a copier you, paper, but well, we you don't went, have you any. went the wrong way. What do you mean I went the wrong you go way? Go folded first. You went that way first. Are you sure? Nope. Turn it around. I did. I did it this way. Yeah. Yes, I did. And you didn't, because this was at the very top, and you can't brought it out. You are right. I didn't do it right, Sean. That's okay. And you tell me you are not a crafter. I'm not. I am not a crafter. But look at you out. caught my mistake. So we're gonna run it through again because I made a oopsie. Oopsie doodly. It happens sometimes. I know it does. You are not to say no, that. I'm You're supposed kidding. to say, that is the first mistake I've ever seen you make. That's right. You did. You've never made mistakes Thank before. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> so this can, once again, this can be used on pretty much anything. Think of sticky. So the if you have glue and it's coming to dry, you can use foil on that. You can actually use it right on a foam square, which I have over there. I'll grab you some. 
There we go. All right, are we ready, Tony? Mm -hmm, can't wait. Ready, are you? Wanna zoom in? Do you want to zoom in a little bit? Look at that, you guys. That is so cool. Coolness. Yeah. So you can really see that oil, oil slick. All that oil look in there. That is gorgeous. Does the laminator make a difference? Yes. It can. Yes, it can. We had an Amazon laminator. No bueno. Yeah, not a very good one. That is gorge. All right, let's put that off to the side. I'm going to throw away that carrier sheet because I've ruined it. It's ruined. ruined it. Ruined. All right, so let's do... I want to do regular color because this one I actually, you know what, before we do this one, I want to do this because I want to show you what is cool about the clear options. So I'm going to take one of this. This is Brutus Monroe's Loopy. All right. Now these are eight and a half by 11. So we're going to cut this at the 4.25 mark, which is basically cutting this. Wait a minute. This is the 11. So we want to do the five and a half. So it's basically cut this in half, right? Yep. So I'm gonna grab one of his Sunrise. And then Sean, can you get me one of his Sunrise, dry brush? Sunset, Sunrise, Sunset. Oh, we don't need a song. Do you know where that's from? No. Fiddler on the Roof. I've never seen it. Neither have I. Then how do you know that that's what it's I from? I just know because they've played it before. So try to just get one out. I always seem to get two. Welcome to my life. These packages. And just, they are right. I'm gonna just cut it because that makes so much more sense. Did, did you do better than I did? I'm cutting it. Whosever idea that was, I'm doing it. Cutting it. I mean, it's not really going to go anywhere. They're nice and long, so. What do you mean they're nice and long? Okay, I don't even know what you're talking about. That's okay. All right, so we only need this amount, and you want to make sure if you feel these toner sheets, one is extremely silk. This one has the rough side. So this is the side that you're going to want the toner to face on, okay? So we are going to cut these down just a little bit so they fit. So we're going to start with this one. And Sean, what color is this? Sunset. Are you sure? Mm hmm Okay. Or sunrise, sorry. I guess it could be sunrise or sunset, really, if you really think about it. And we are going to wait till this... Oh, it is good. Yeah, it's ready. Okay, do you want to cut that one down for me? Mm-hmm. So we're just making a carrier sheet. Once again, you want to make sure that you have this right. The the uh, toner side has to be facing to where this heats up and your foil then sticks to it. Very important. Importante. And then what we're going to do, the whole reason I'm doing this is to show you something that's so cool. Appreciated your KTC. Can in, oh, the car. Good. can in the car instead of they're front. all changing it everyone keeps changing because they it. don't like the uh, other one well we don't need to bring up why yes, we're know. changing it <laughs> all right so oh, this welcome Kristen voice. she's new hi Kristen Ray done even <laughs> you just found the channel searching Ray done I am a mess when it comes to Ray done I need to rope it in but I can't I am a way addict Welcome to my life. All right, so this one came through. We're gonna go ahead and do the reveal on this. Bring it up, right there. Now look at that. Ooh, Ooh. that is gorge. Look at that. Okay, so now let's send this one through. Once again, make sure you can feel, because it's kind of hard to tell when just looking at it, but you can feel what side. Like, Sean, do you feel what side? Yeah, that's the right side there. Mm -hmm. So this is the side we need to foil. Yeah, but it has a, a slight, I want to say it has a dull side feeling. <laughs> it feels like there's toner on it. It feels yeah. like a, a card just. So we're going to push this to where it lines up. He's using the Cricut uh, trimmer. 
paper trimmer. I know there's a lot of trimmers out there. That one works and it's handy. Well, and the replacement blades are super reasonable. All right. So what's cool is let's say you're doing a card, you're getting a card ready mm -hmm. and we're gonna have a, a white background card. We'll wait for that to come out. If you f ever find any little uh, flakes, flakes, loose pieces, use a makeup brush. Yeah. So literally little makeup brush and we can just go. And you actually see all the stuff right here. Yeah. And that will remove any of those little, you can see it even on the brush. It removes all of those little pieces on there. Yeah. All right, so we have this one coming out. Ready for the reveal, Shani? The reveal. Nice, look at that. Okay, so we'll make sure we get all the extra pieces off. And if you put this on a white background, imagine this is your card. So if you have this overlaid on that and wow, see, how your, you can take now two of those and you get this almost interweaven look of those. It looks like it's one continuous pattern with two different colors. And all you're doing is you're overlaying his two different designer. Now these are the clear designer sheets, mm -hmm. but you can then overlay them to create a really, really cool background of color. And imagine all the inks you can use. Um, and he has surface inks that match these colors. So then you can coordinate all of the colors with this, but it just makes a really cool background card. I just absolutely love that technique. All right. So we've tried these inks. Let's try just to show you guys, if you're not into those kind of distressy looking inks, which I don't know why you wouldn't be because they're amazing, but what I want to do next is I'm in love with this one. Let's try these two and then I think we'll move on, but I love these two. Um, we just tried that one. Sean, will you grab one of those and cut them in half for me? Mm -hmm. You can grab one on the white and then the other colors. this a little quick open you want me to do the white on one of them it doesn't matter whatever you want to do we'll do this one is clear and then we'll do one with the white background Okay, and then go and do that one with the white background. Can you do that one with the white background? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use his toner sheets. And this here is called Summer Rainbow. Ooh, pretty. And the deco foil ones come in a tube with the instructions on the inside. What's nice with the tube is you can actually kind of roll them back up. And then I am gonna cut this down real quick just so it can fit into my carrier. Make sure our rough side is up. So we're gonna cover up the Brutus Monroe toner sheet. Put it in our little doohickey <laughs> sandwich. Create my own ending. Thanks, thanks Christopher. You essentially get out of my way. Yes. Now, if you have any problem with it bunching up or rippling, sometimes if you just hold it onto it like this till it goes through the laminator, um, I will say it does make a difference if your laminator is at full heat or not. You'll, uh, it will not adhere if it's not. 
Now, you if you have a toner printer, uh, Thermal Web actually offers blank toner sheets that you can actually print directly on there. I'm gonna roll these back up and put them in the tube. Are these one-shot deals or can we reuse them? What do you mean? I don't know. That's what Nancy said. I'm not sure what exactly. So what you, you can reuse things like, for example, so let's do the reveal on this. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my, look at that. O-M stars. That is absolutely on that. With that splatter, it almost looks like a whole splatter of different paints. Foil is so hard to see on camera, but it is, it's got pinks and oranges and yellows and it is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Yep. Awesomeness. So let's do, so this here to your point, I have all of this foil, so I could use this on a full, full, like if you had a whole toner page, which I don't know if I have any toner pages. Uh, I think I used them all. I'll look, but I could put this on a full toner page and use all of this foil. And we can do that to any of them yep. that we have. So that is always an option. Yep. Um, let's do for this one. So this is called Emerald watercolor. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this is uh, Brutus Monroe offers some beautiful surface inks. And one of them happens to be kind of this emeraldy color. In fact, it might even be called emerald. What, and What color is that there, Christopher? And so it would go really good. So you guys always can remember that you can mix brands and get different ideas. Um, Looks like an, an out of focus uh, camouflage. Oh, it kind of does. Of course, nowadays, camouflage is sure. digital. I'll let you deal with that. So we're going to use this on his white. This is white with black. We're going to put that in our carrier sheet. I'm going to get rid of the excess here. Oh, there's two of there, shiny. Uh-oh. Yep. See? Got two. I'm going to cut off my excess here. And we're going to run this through. So now this is on white. It's called Envy. Get that? Envy, that's right. That is right, Shawnee. You are Thank right. Thank you, Christopher. Oops, I think I did this backwards. I did, I did. I'm going to grab all the examples so we can show you at the very end all that before we move on to Gina K stuff and then the other stuff. We're dropping everything. I'm not dropping everything. You're dropping everything. I haven't touched it. <laughs> all right. So this is his toner sheet. Now remember, this one was called Brush Strokes. Ooh, that is so amazing. Like I said, it's kind of hard to see foil on camera, but you, oh, there you go. You have some greens and blues and yellows. And what a great background card that would make. Awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you. Do I have, um, here's his two. Tracy, you're kind of right. It does kind of look like an alcohol ink background. Oh yeah, it does. Do I have that? There should have been a little orange somewhere, but maybe. A little orange? Yeah, that we cut off. A little extra orange, no? I haven't seen an orange one. Oh, you mean the sunrise, right? Yeah. Oh well. I don't know. So we're just gonna, I grabbed this one, might as well use it. This is a clear circle. So we're just gonna use up these little pieces that I had left over just. Okay. 
really wanted to use his three, but I don't know what happened to that little piece of orange. You don't have it? No, I think it was all right here. Let me see if I put it back over in this little. No, I don't think you did. Hmm. Well, I'll be dang. Well, that one's his. Huh? That one's his. It is, but I wanted to do the orange over here. Oh, I switched right. Yeah, but I don't know what we did with that. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll just use up this so I can see these circle ones because I love these. This reminds me of kind of coffee stains, but more in a perfect pattern, I guess. Cricket says, I've used something similar to get foil effects on type, but not sure. Are you talking like on, um, what are they going to, like words and whatnot? Because you can do that if you have a laser printer, which is, well, which you is, can also which is a uh, use toner adhesive. Paper. You can use other um, options when, I mean, there's a whole different ways you can use foil sheets. It's not just a toner printer or toner sheets. There we go. Got him to find oh, the so sorry, Tina. They lost their dog. Oh, I'm sorry. That's always so hard. We I just went through that. Yep. Oh, look how fun that is. Oh, neat. So that, we just went, went out on my white sheet of paper. We, of course, mix those toner sheets and you have a kind of a multi so hard to see it, but and then it goes to those greens and blues. Yes. That's really cool looking. Cool. Hey, we need to build it though. So once again, let me show you. Sean has the examples, but I'm gonna show you what comes in this collection just in case you're interested in the Brutus Monroe stuff. Let me grab everything here. All right. So toner sheets, brand new toner sheets, there is a total of six. So you have the brush strokes. This is a toner sheet. You get two clear, two black. Don't forget. This one here, coffee rings, two clear, two black. This is probably my favorite, the marble, two clear, two black. Stress. loopy and then this one is the distress circle now all the links are down below if you want to purchase it over on thermal web these are the three different foils they have so remember this one here is called tide pool look at that that is you are right it kind of does remind me of gas and this one here is called dry brush thermal web is here hello whoever that is <laughs> hi thermal web and this one here is called Sunrise. And I just love how unique these are and the repeating patterns. I love the, the thought that they put in two of the clear and two white. I think that's a brilliant because I love the clear toner sheets, but sometimes when you're doing a card or a background, you really like that pop of white to really offset the, um, the foil. So I really like the fact that they thought of both of them. Now, don't forget every time you open, especially these right here, you always get this, uh, what I call my carrier sheet in there. So that's always provided for you. Nito burrito. All right, so let's have fun. That was Brutus Monroe's collection. Now this here is part of Deca Foil. It's also part of Thermal Web. I fell in love with these when they introduced them in um, Creativation this year. And these are clear designer toner sheets. These are amazing. They're the same thing that Brutus Monroe has, but these are completely clear. And these are amazing because you can make shaker cards out of them. You can use them as backgrounds. We absolutely love them. For fall, once again, they have four different ones. Wheatfield. Oh, thanks, Mona. Wilderness. Endless Leaves. Cobwebs and Cauldron. 
and then pumpkin patch. So we are gonna play around with these just to show you guys. They also gave us some Halloween, typical Halloween colors you're gonna see. This here is called spring green, copper, purple, and black. So we're gonna play around with these and some of the pattern ones and run them through the laminator and see what they do. Let's start with this. This is the one my eye jumped to at first. This is the spider webs and cobwebs or cauldrons. Hey, Christopher, off to his live. Thanks, Christopher. Thanks for stopping. So let's just do, let's do a, let's cut this in half and then in maybe in fours. Cause this one, you guys, I'm telling you, I'm in love with this one. <laughs> This is my jam all day long. So I want to show it to you because I love all of you, but I also want to be stingy a little. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. And Sean, do you have my toner or my carry? Oh, it's over there. So Sean, why don't you grab, let's grab one of the purple and let's do one of these in black. All to get the black out. Now remember, these are pretty thin, you guys, so you just wanna grab one. These ones you can always roll back up, so. Which is what we will do. And I only need half of this to go over. I'll have Sean roll it back up. Give Sean the hard work. Here you go. On the black. Mm -hmm. Let's do one in the purple. And I have to, you know, when I went to Creativation the first year, when we saw Gina Kay's original system, I wasn't a big foiler. Um, foiling kind of came back when Heidi Swap released her mink. And a lot of people were like, you know, kind of reintroduced to foil again. And um, I liked it, but I couldn't afford that mink at that time. So I did a video showing how you could use a laminator to do it. And foiling is so great because it gives your card such a professional look. And a lot of people don't think a, um, a crafter at home is able to do this because if you think about it, they think, oh, it's a foil, you know, a big old foiling machine that does all the work. What's that? You get five sheets. Five yeah. sheets. Five sheets. Somebody asked. Oh, that's interesting. What's that? <laughs> exactly. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, thanks, Mona. I know, see, we got a super chat. Thank mm -hmm. you. Purple, I know. Wait till you guys see the purple. So I'm going to take this one out and start sending that purple one through. And then we'll grab another pattern before going on to Gina K's stuff. Send that purple through. And let's take a look at this one. Now, I know to you guys it looks, oh, well, it's just black on black. But look at how fun would this be if you had, you know, um, toner sheets and you did this on, you know, the toner sheet and use that. But look at this. It's hard to see. It looks just black, but it's got this foiled look to it that is just, it's absolutely amazing. And you can kind of see under here where, well, you can't really, but uh, let me do it on. Where's my white piece of cardstock? Look at how that pops. And then you have that foiling there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Nice. Very, very cool. All right. Let's take the purple here and show you that one. Oh, oh my stars. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. So now imagine doing something like where you kind of overlay them with the purple on top and that black underneath of it. And you get that really cool texture of that bright purple with the black in the background as a background card. Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing? Because now you have two different dimensions on that card and the black is just complementing it because it still has that foil there. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Um, let's do pumpkins. You want to do pumpkins, Sean? Pumpkin, pumpkin. Well, ask the audience. 
I'll start cutting pumpkins, and then the other one here, you tell them what they would like to see. Oh. We're supposed to be asking them what they would like to see. What guys, what guys would you like to see? We've got the... Oh, let me grab these. Endless leaves. Wilderness, which are the trees. I'm sorry. There we go. Or the wheat. Which one would you like to see next? Yeah, that purple is pretty cool. Love the purple, but how do you use them as a card fonts? Or fronts, card fronts, wouldn't you end up covering it all up? So I would cut this into a cart, so four and a half by five. And so for example, if this was my card right here, like that. I mean, you can imagine white, but this would be the top of the card. And then if you had a little feature there, you would have that. We've got uh, pumpkins, the woods, pumpkins, wilderness, 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 wheat. So I'm going to do pumpkins right now. Now, on um, pumpkins, I am going to use Dazzling Orange. This is actually a Gina K foil. It's right here. I thought you were going to use this one. Um, I decided to change it because oh, okay. I remember I had this, and this has tiny little stars in it. And let's go ahead and send that through. Yep, tape runners work great with this. Yes, it does. So for me, this just adds another layer to your cards that you just can't get elsewhere. What is What was the verdict on the last yeah, one? Yeah, there's like a little bit of everything, really. Let's do the leaves. All right, let's try leaves. Come out. Just it. Perfect. Can I reveal? Yeah, I did the reveal. Oh. Oh. oh, look at that dazzling orange, you guys. Those pumpkins sparkle. Look at the sparkle in that. It's literally like the pumpkins are glittery. I love it. I absolutely love how that turned out. Nice. That is so cool. So that was this one here, Sean. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool looking. And in fact, because I like that so much, I'm gonna grab the same thing. Let's see if I have it. Yeah, with foils, you can use the foil sheets kind of twice. You've got the, where's the other What one? are you looking for? The other part of this, where did it go? Oh, it's right here. I so, on the side. so this would be sheet one or the first time you use it, right? Then if you get yourself a full sheet of what's called um, I just lost the name of it. Toner, toner sheets. All, black, it's, yep. it's, it would be this completely black, full of toner is what it I is. I might have one. I need to go look through my stock. You would then place this one on it, and okay. then this would be the negative on top of that. Yep. So you can get two uses out of these. Those sparkly pumpkins are great. So we're gonna do the leaves. I'm gonna do it in two different colors for you so you guys can see. That sparkly pear? So this is called Glittering Green. Oh, this God. was what was um, released at Christmas time with Gina K stuff. 
And I tell you what, by adding just that little bit of sparkle to these sheets, it really makes them pop. Yes. I mean, a foil is definitely an elegant look. You can't go wrong with that. But I'm going to show you kind of the, the difference here. Let's grab that. Oh, it's still going through. You could probably start rolling those back up. Let me get a sec. Okay, so we're going to leave this one just here for a sec. Let's send this guy. So this is the same thing again. We're just sending it through with green this time, not the sparkly green. So let's show you this reveal. So this is the leaf. Once again, this is with that. Look at that. Oops. Well, <laughs> be better if I didn't drop it, you guys. But look at that. Oh gosh, that's so cool. And then I'm gonna do one right next to Diana, what's your question? I'm sorry. When we're doing this and stuff, we can't see your question. Yeah, so if you wanna put it in caps, yeah, and hopefully we can grab it. <laughs> sometimes they go by so fast we just, just Yes, it. you can order the black toner sheets directly from Thermal Web. I'll go check my stash to see if I have some. Sean can show you the difference on those there. Okay. Okay, remember, camera doesn't give it justice, but we'll do our best here. So glitter, non glitter. Oh I do. There you go. All right. So this is what a full toner sheet looks like. So this is full of toner. And you get three sheets out of one of these. So now let you, just giving you an idea of what he's doing here. So I'm gonna put the remainder of this foil on this toner sheet. Mm -hmm. And remember, okay. this is the positive one. This one's called the negative one. So then we're gonna put that, we're gonna make sure it's nice and flat. And we're going to put that in this carrier sheet. And we'll send that through. And these are what the toner sheets look like. So you can absolutely do two different things on there. Gosh, those, uh, that sparkle pumpkin looks absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Doesn't it? It does. Boy, if you could just, I wish the cameras could pick these up. Not getting too much glare of the lights. If you look really close, some of those sparkles are actual stars. Send me the green one again. Uh, this one? Yep. I think I can do it really close here. Here's that. That was the one with with the sparkle. Here's the one without. And here's the pumpkins. So now this pumpkin has been fused with that toner sheet. So now I could cut this down. Let's say if I wanted this to be a base of a card and let's do this then at you know let's do you can cut this because it's all one continuous piece now so I could trim this down that's why these toner sheets are awesome to have and look at this so Becky's asking does thermal webs tape runner show through the acetate or vellum try to find the answer in chat but it it's too quick here you go, Sean. We show that. Yep. I actually have their tape runner, so I will show you. Look at that. So remember, the foil sticks to anything that is toner, black. If as long as it's toner, it'll stick to it. Because basically, what's happening is so it's it's right there in the middle. On can I mean in person, if I'm 
looking for it. If I know it's there, I can see it. I'm not going to say you can't see it, but it's pretty. You can see it. Where right, is it? Where is your seat? Right there. You can see it right. Yeah. It's right. I'm sorry. My, it's right here. However, what I would probably do, like on this guy here, right, I would use these. These are little Zots. You can get these at ThermoWeb too. And if you are smart about your placement, so they come in little tiny like this, see? And if you're smart with your placement, what you do is you just turn it over and I'm going to put the Zots on the part you can't on see. On the part that is these leaves. So the leaves, obviously, these small zots are the perfect size to where I can place them and then have that stick down. And now you're not going to see any adhesive, even though it's on there. You can see, oops, Sean, there you go. You can't mm. have Sean putting his hand on it. It won't Sorry. pick it up, but you can see it's on there and the zots are hidden behind the leaf now. So that's what I would do if I'm trying to hide and still use an adhesive, I'm gonna buy dots, Zots. I gave you the link down below and there's a ton of different sizes of Zots. So the other thing too, you guys, don't forget, I'm gonna now show you something even more exciting. So here is 3D foam squares. I love ThermoWed's 3D foam squares. And a lot of people don't know this. So here's a purple, right? We're going to put it with the silver side up. I'm going to remove a foam. Now I wouldn't obviously do this because it's a waste of the foam, but if I can get one of these off. So I'm just going to remove a few here to prove a point. So all of this, this is the adhesive part. So let's just kind of put that down. So keep in mind, you don't have to run it through a laminator. Watch. See? So it's the adhesive that is grabbing. And you can kind of see it there. It's grabbing this. Now, obviously, I would take more time, but you can see now I have foil attached to the adhesive. Um, so that's another way you can do use foil. Probably my favorite way, and we probably should have started with this, is using the new toner glue. ThermoWeb is saying, Sean, ThermoWeb is saying to use memory tape runner. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what they're talking about. I don't think you, do you have that one? Nope, I do not have the memory tape runner. So there's also this, which is transfer gel. And this stuff is great for their stencils. So if you have stencils, you can actually stencil it on. We're running out of time, so I can do another independent video on that. Um, we did a video on our, um, I think it was our winter release, might have been our spring, where you actually can put this on a stencil. You let it dry to where it becomes... Um, tacky. Yeah, it's about tacky. It's about an hour, I would say, right around an hour. And then you actually can put this on with... In, there's instructions here, but you cover the stencil design with iCraft Decofoil Transfer Seat. Place inside, fold a piece of parchment, and run it through a laminator. And so then you can actually use this with <laughs> stenciling and stuff. So somebody is asking, can you use a stamped image and foil? A stamped image, you can. Um, I forget the the ink you have to use to do that. Well, if you're if you have a stamp, I guess. Well, I know uh, you I'm, can do it. Yeah. I'm just trying to remember the type of material. Yeah. Yeah. I w I mean I. Eh. If you can, I've not done it. Yeah. I will be honest. I haven't used stamp, but I know it can be done because I've seen a ton of different ways to do that. Um, so I know it can Isn't, be done. Now, if you have an image, like a design space or something black, you could print that. Absolutely. Using a laser printer because a laser printer uses toner. That image itself, you yep. can definitely foil on. And you know it's a toner because I, I, for anyone that's worked in an office or school, toner, when it comes out, it, those are the ones people kind of shake to make sure if there's any in there. It's got the black powder in there. Yeah. You can use Silhouette. You can use Cricut. You mm -hmm. can use pretty much anything and print an image using toner. Then what you would do is use any of these deco foils, place that over. When you run it through the laminator, it heats that foil up. 
and then that that foil so, sticks to it. Sticks right to it. So you can do print and cut. You can do um, using the um, transfer gel. So it's gonna transfer gel will go from a white to a clear, and you know it's ready. And so you can use stenciling. You can use um, all sorts of stuff. Um, I do, yes. So do you have the adhesive pen to use with a stamp or Brutus Monroe glue pad? Yes. So what she is talking about. She's talking about doing the stickiness fa factor. Um, so, we used the pumpkins. We used the. Um, we did not use the orange. We used the glitter. So there is this adhesive pen, and let me bring it. Oh, can you I bring it up that, to this camera? I'm just gonna say, let's do this one. So this adhesive pen is like so, and so what they're saying is you could use that and run it through the laminator. You could use the sticky pad. Um, you could use anything that's going to be that that glue tacky feel. That's yep. the best way to think of this. They also have liquid adhesive. So same kind of concept here. It's um, You would actually be able to use this once it starts uh, to dry to that white. So once again, you're just going to use a little bit and then you could run this through the same. So it's the same kind of concept. You're looking for that, I don't want to say sticky, but that's basically it's what it is. That it's tacky, tacky feeling. is what it's going to grab. Um, Stampin' Kitty is asking, which laser printer do you recommend? Here's the thing about laser printers. They're almost all the same, when, especially when it's just doing well, black. But they probably want to see us talking about yeah, that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, the biggest thing on a toner printer, I don't look up laser printer when I go to Amazon. I literally look up toner printer and it will come up. They're cheap. The printers themselves are cheap. You can get them for $39.99, but brother, it's the toner that that's costs gonna, money, that's the replacement. To but I bought a brother and it was literally $39 and um it came with a toner cartridge in it and i've had it for a year now and it's good yeah so good yeah yeah i mean eventually if you if we had it there sitting there for years the toner might be bad but as long as you're using it you should be fine um i will tell you guys uh so i'll bring it back down over here down on to this camera view. Mm -hmm. So I have had the Scotch laminator. I have had an Amazon basic laminator. And then I was um, given this by Thermal Web to use with their product because they've, they've tested this with their product. And I used to think that all toners were exactly the same. They're a toner. I mean, excuse me, all laminators are exactly the same. This laminator is, is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Um, I don't have any issues with it uh, losing heat. I don't have any issues with it skipping. So sometimes I'd put stuff through my Scotch laminator and it does this kind of jerky skipping motion. And so what ends up happening is you don't get a beautiful transfer like this. You're going to get something that has these like little kind of ripples in it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it just ruins the effect. So this has been, in my opinion, the best one that we've ever used. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Um, there are more expensive ones. There are more cheaper ones mm -hmm. out there. But I mean, for a middle of the road, this is absolutely wonderful yep look at yeah. some other questions so here. um well, i was looking at thermal web's comment so gina k has a few foils and let me grab them sean can show them because i have a lot of them over here so again this is these are the ones that we just used glitter green dazzling orange these are the the glitter looking ones with the stars that are within it here is the sparkling silver the brilliant blue, here is radiant red, the twinkling pink, absolutely gorgeous if you like pink, and then silver sequence. So instead of stars, you're getting little circles like sequence. This one's really cool. So those are all Gina K specific. Mm -hmm. So she's the one that has coming up oh, with- Oh, and I missed the gold one. Here's you gold. You did miss the gold here's, one. That's my favorite. Here's gold sequence. Look at that. So yeah, those are all um, her. So they all have a different feel and unique. So Decofoil mm -hmm. has a lot of the ones that are gonna be the solid colors. Some of them like to call rainbow or sunset where they go from a pink to an orange to a, um, and we use those earlier in the video. Mm -hmm. uh, then. 
Uh, Brutus Monroe has those really unique ones that I've never seen before with the different colors streaking together. You have the fancy foils with Gina K that has all the sequin looks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course Gina K, the nice thing on hers is all of her standard foils, which are a solid color. The great thing I love about Gina K's system is the best way to think of it everything is matches. we actually have it. Everything matches. Everything matches. Um, oh, Sean didn't load that one. He only loaded Brutus Monroe. Dang oh, it. Let me, I can probably show um, So everything matches in her. So it makes a card super easy. So her cardstock matches her inks, matches her foils. Everything matches. So when she does a card, um, like for example, let me bring this one up here real quick. So this here... This is her um, mango orange, which is then the dazzling orange. This is the mango ink and everything you can see. I don't have to think of anything matching because it all matches. Everything there matches all of her colors. So remember, she's the one that released the, um, the stamp and foil system. So that's what I use to make this card. This system is so unique in the fact that we have dyes that match the stamps that match the toner sheets, and then you even have the backgrounds. So for example, on this card I made, I used this set, so I had the stamps. So I actually took this this here stamp, which is this one right here, stamped it on this toner sheet. So we'll pull one out so you guys can see it. Does Thermal Web have sample packs? Not that I'm aware of her. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. So here's her toner sheet. So I actually stamp that solid one on here. Then I can run this through the laminator mm -hmm. because it has that toner built in. Do you see how it picked up that in that leaf? There it is. Yeah. So you can see it. This one here, I just did the, the veins. This is her background. This is her toner sheet background. So you have that and everything matches all of her colors match it's a great system yeah, cannot go wrong and she's released a ton she's released some um for the spring release now we have fall i'm excited to see what maybe we have in the future because it's great so becky is asking before we go can i answer a quick chalk question of course please go ahead becky and by the way the answer is and i think i know somebody did it but just to let you know these tube styles have five in them and i think how many are in each of those um, her, her foils come with 12 sheets. So 12 sheets in those uh, bigger packages. And then um, Brutus Monroe's came with 10 sheets, yes. right? I think so, yes. So double, we'll double check. Yes, 10 sheets. So 10 sheets. Mm -hmm. So you guys, I have to tell you, so Thermal Web um, has been my go-to place for a couple of things. I love their adhesive. If you've not used Thermal Web's adhesive, it is the best on the market, in my opinion. They're sticky runner, they're foam squares. Um, they have a mini version of this, so it's my go-to for that. Uh, and then their foil. Their foil is unparalleled to everything else. Mm -hmm. um, and they're adding more and more. So we have the designer toner sheets. We have now the Gina K line. We have the Brutus Monroe line. So they keep adding more. They have the dyes. So if you've not seen Gina K's dyes that nest into each other, uh. Oh, Look at my so video awesome. of Gina K 2017 review. It's absolutely amazing. Um, they have been my go-to dyes, even when I'm not working with her stuff. I, I use that all the time. Yeah, all the time. Um, so uh, Still check them out. Them. They're awesome. I absolutely love it. They always take care of us and send us a ton of products. So I will be doing a specific Gina K project because we kind of ran out of time today, but we'll be doing something like this with her product um, but today, uh, I got feedback in my last video that we released for Thermal Web from a couple of viewers that said, we love the fact that you make a card, but we really want to see the foils all being used. So in today's video, I really just wanted to run as many foils through that machine so you could see them in yes. person when they come off. Um, because that's the magic of Thermal Web is that, yep. that foiling. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's so professional. It looks so great. So um, any other questions, you guys? I know Becky had something, but she hasn't posted it. Oh, there it is. Um, 
Is the transfer sheet stuck to the product or to the paper? Unfortunately, if a transfer sheet is stuck to a paper, I'm wondering if they accidentally put it upside down on the wrong side. Because mm -hmm. that would stick. You wouldn't get it off. Um, you could try put, literally putting it off in water. In water. That's the and only then, thing you could then do. And then you'll have to probably... Heating it's going to make it worse. Yeah, don't heat don't it. Heat it's it. just going to make it worse. Just get it wet mm -hmm. and try that. And if it, of course, it's going to ruin the, the back, but you can buy now the, sh the backing sheets as themselves if you need to. Yeah. Just hope it's not a big, big one or else you're going to have to sit there... Absolutely. That's the only thing I can think of. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us. Make sure to use the links down below. Um, once again, that supports us, and we really thank you for that. And um, if you do want to see a chalk couture demonstration, however, on my Facebook, we'll probably be starting that in about a half an hour. We're going to do our last trick-or-treat pillow. Mm -hmm. And um, look forward to more from Thermal Web, all this great product. Thanks, guys. Have Thanks, an amazing everybody. day. Bye-bye. If I can get it.